Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about the state of collecting today on several different fronts. You know, today's world is quite different. We live in a virtual world in many respects, and a lot of people like that idea. Um, I must confess that being of an earlier generation, there was something amazing, something exciting to touch the history. We were not merely excited to know it, but we wanted to touch it. You know, I'll give you an example. Here is a, this is a Spanish piece of eight. It's from 1783. It's from a sunken galleon. I don't even think the date is readable, but it might be a little bit here if you look carefully. You see the date is 1783, which might not be readable, but it's all kind of weathered or suffering from water erosion from being under the ocean for well over 200 years. And you know, I hold this and my imagination takes off. Because it's fascinating, it's a piece of history. And in my mind, when it comes to history, when you can touch it, there's nothing greater than that. And that's a wonderful thing. And that's the thing you want to share a lot of times with young people and whatever. But I'm noticing a vast change. I'll give you an example here. This is a early recording. What is this? This is from, what, 1901, and uh, kind of an interesting record. It's, it's very early and very collectible, at least in the mindset in which I have. But I must tell you that I am watching a lot of young people do not have the interest a lot of us older folks had. Now, I remember when I was like 16, 17 years of age, and I was interested in old records and old phonographs and coins and all kinds of stuff, anything early. There would be this plethora of individuals that I knew who were of a similar age that were equally fascinated. Now, switch to now, all of those friends, those that are alive at this point, we are becoming the dinosaurs in this whole thing because we have been involved in this for many, many years. But there are not that many young people getting involved that replace the older that are dying off. We're watching this whole thing shrink before our eyes. We're watching the values go down in many respects on, on things because the demand has shrunk. Now, I can't totally say about what's happening in the coin market, but I guess I would be willing to state that that those people that were really into collecting coins, that that has diminished to a degree. That those that collected stamps, that that has diminished to a degree. And that we are going through perhaps a paradigm shift here of, of remarkable change. Whereas... This may excite us, but just the picture of it is enough to excite most people today. They don't need to touch the real thing. They don't need to see the real thing. Seeing a photo of it, seeing it in virtual reality or whatever, is good enough. So the whole state of collecting has changed. 
And I find it rather fascinating because I've watched the industry, I've watched the, the hobby, especially with phonographs and records. The big phonographs years ago, you know, you they would sell for a lot of money. Now they're not selling for much at all because people don't want the big, they want the small. They want the simple. They don't want complex things. Everything is available on the computer. And let's say you want to listen to music from 1900, you can go right onto your computer, go right onto YouTube, and you can listen to it. You don't need to have the archaic old records that we so love to collect. So this is the call of an old dinosaur in the in the in the hobby saying you know I want to see some more young people involved in this and I want to share what I know with those that are starting in this. And there's so many people my age that want to do the same with young people, whomever, who wish to get involved in this hobby. I'm sure it's true with people with coins. I'm sure it's true with people with stamps. I'm sure it's true with every avenue of collecting. Because I think it's all diminishing. And you know something? Passion is a wonderful thing. And a lot of collecting is a passion where you can take your passion and make it into something. And with that passion and with what you learn, you can share it with other folks. That's changed. The world has changed. Everything has changed. Except for us. Us older folks who have been doing this for a while. We're having a hard time changing. But I think what's happening is that the hobby is changing in spite of us. That the world is changing in spite of us. Everything's changing in spite of us. And our relevance is diminishing. Because the new world is taking over. So I hope that there's a resurgence in collecting. Might not be. And maybe these rare records suddenly won't become that rare at all because there will only be a handful of people collecting them. Maybe 50 years from now, who knows? Um, Berliner Records and Zonophone and what we call pre-dogs like this might become more commonplace because of all the collectors who have long gone at this point and there's so much available to a very limited audience. It's interesting to watch. It's sad to see this hobby that I've been involved in all these years diminish quite a bit. But it's a fact that we have to deal with. Thank you.